also breaking tonight, an arrest in the shooting that killed a 14-year-old girl who was seemingly just in the wrong place at the wrong time. Good evening. Thank you for joining us tonight. I'm Gary Worker. And I'm Monique Mingalabin. This is a heartbreaking story. And a 17-year-old boy is now in custody just as a vigil for the 14-year-old is wrapping up in Tacoma. Camera 7's Ryan Sims was there as the vigil was just getting underway and word of the new developments broke. This vigil is already seeing a lot of people take a look. Dozens of people are already here. The march is expected to get started any minute now in honor of that 14-year-old girl who was shot in this spot yesterday. Hi. As soon as Antoinette Ussery approached us, she had this message for everyone out there. I just want everybody to remember her name. Her name is Ayana. Ayana Ussery, my grandbaby. This photo shows Ayana from a few years ago. At only 14 years old now, family members say that this braided beaming teen could always be counted on for comfort and peace. If the family was having disputes, she was the person that was getting everybody together. She was the person that was going to be like, listen to their side of the story. On Wednesday, this proud, persistent peacemaker was inside a car with a group of teenagers. Gunshots were suddenly fired into that car and Ayana was hit. She was then rushed home and discovered by her own mother. She got hit and they brought the car here and I opened the door and my daughter was in the car dead. But it just made me so angry, you know, that she had to go out like this. They don't even know her. These people don't even know her. By all indications, Ayana was in the wrong place at the wrong time, and more than ever before, people like Antoinette say that now is the time for Tacoma's violence to come to an end. I get sending prayers, sending prayers. Who are we going to send prayers to next? Are we going to send prayers to you next? Family members say Ayana's lasting legacy is making those around her happy. She's not about violence, and she's not about you know, disruption or anything. She's about peace and everybody getting along. And I'm just hurt that she's gone. And we'll have much more on what will undoubtedly be an emotional gathering coming up on Cairo 7 News at 11 o'clock. We'll come to you from Tacoma, Ryan Sims, Cairo 7 News. Uh